Hello and welcome to Tea Break Film Reviews. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be reviewing the highly anticipated new Christopher Nolan film, Tenet. This film follows the classic Nolan experience of utter confusion followed by a desperate search for clarity once the credits have rolled, so hold your espresso and hear me out. Before we start, please consider subscribing to help support this channel so we can keep making videos like this. Tenet is the story of the protagonist, played by John David Washington, and his mission to ensure the survival of the world from a fate apparently worse than nuclear war. To do this, he must learn the art of time inversion. The premise of this film is incredibly complicated. Step one of watching it is to eradicate the idea that it's about time travel, because characters do not jump time in this film, like in Looper or Back to the Future. In Tenet, time exists, but the characters are not bound by its linear limits. They can reverse or invert time. If you've already seen the film or are interested in gaining some clarity on the premise before seeing it, then you can check out a brilliant infographic on Reddit that I've linked in the description. It is really useful in explaining, or showing at least, how the machine that they use functions. Now, as useful as this infographic is, I had to look for it after finishing the film because the film itself was not very good at explaining what was happening. The clearest it becomes is all the way in Act 3 when we see an actual plan in action that uses time inversion. The lengthy conversations that were had before then were usually quite confusing in delivering the information, especially scenes such as the one between the protagonist and Clemens Posey's character. At some points, I was itching for an infographic to come up on screen for all the characters to sit down in front of a whiteboard like in Inception and take all of the things that they know individually and put it together to form some sort of logical explanation. Of course, I don't want to be spoon-fed or have important twists revealed too early, but I also don't want to be lost in foreign terminology that felt like it was being introduced at a frantic pace. In the Reddit thread that I mentioned, a user called Pitas Boras explained some ideas around particle physics that really helped frame the story in a real-world concept and made it easier to understand, and I would have loved to have something like this within the actual film. What I'm trying to get at is that the experience of this film is different from other Nolan films that have difficult ideas. With Memento, the audience probably has a basic knowledge of amnesia, and has definitely experienced a time when they forgot something. With Inception, the audience can again draw on their own experiences of dreaming. With Tenet, unless you are a keen physicist or lover of time theories, the concept is entirely new. My advice is prepare yourself for having a whole bunch of questions left unanswered, and invest some time after the film in researching the topic. For me, this was one of the most enjoyable parts of seeing this film because I got to learn about some interesting concepts and apply them to what I had just seen. I think Nolan's films thrive on the satisfaction that is achieved when your brain clicks things together. With each revelation, the film becomes more enjoyable, and Tenet is by far his most complicated puzzle yet, and there are many details hidden throughout the film that I look forward to remembering or discovering upon further viewings. Okay, so that was a lot of talk about the premise, but it is justified because that is truly the core of this film. In terms of visuals, the cinematography, production design, and reportedly less than 300 VFX shots come together to create some pretty fantastic action sequences. They can't surpass the breathtaking visuals of Inception that made use of the endless possibilities you get with the dream world, but they nonetheless did some cool things with time reversal. The score was also very creative in this department, with some of the main motifs played backwards at some point. It also had a very distinct futuristic feel and gave a fresh take on the wob-wobs that are prominent in Nolan's blockbusters. To deliver the premise, we get a cast filled with familiar favourites such as Kenneth Branagh and Michael Caine, as well as some fresh faces. I had a little bit of trouble with Washington's acting because it felt like he was just stating his lines, sometimes preempting what the other actor would say, and this led to an overall monotone performance. 
In the scene with Michael Caine especially, it felt like Washington was milliseconds away from outright talking over Caine, and Caine felt like he was gradually speeding up the delivery of his lines just to match Washington. Honestly, this may not even be the fault of Washington, as I'm not sure what he was directed to do. He could have been directed to talk faster. Or in post-production, the editor could have ruined the pace by not giving enough breathing or thinking time between the lines. But this again could have been the decision of the producers or Nolan himself. Potentially, it could have been the nature of the dialogue itself, with so much information being given in such quick-fire bursts. With such a collaborative medium, it's hard to pinpoint why something doesn't feel right. However, my editor, whom I saw this film with, didn't have a problem with the acting or dialogue at all, so I would love to know what you guys think. One thing we did both agree on that certainly didn't help with clarity is the unintelligible dialogue when the background noises were just too loud. Sure, in an interrogation scene next to a set of train tracks, the train noises helped enhance the action. However, in multiple scenes set out at sea, the overwhelming wave noises covered some of the dialogue. Then of course there's the mask, a Nolan hallmark. As many of us now know, talking through a mask is rather difficult to understand, especially when it's combined with having to talk through the glass between linear time and inverted time. And yet, I can't help but think, were these things done on purpose to confuse me? Is the intention to make me repeatedly rewatch this film so I can gather new information each time? Am I giving the filmmakers too much credit? I don't know. All I know is that Tenet questions what would happen if the impossible becomes possible, and as frustrating as it is to unravel, the confusion is worth the gratifying sense of achievement in understanding at least a portion of what the heck is going on. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos, and comment with your thoughts on the topic. Do you think this film is worth the hype? This has been Tea Break Film Reviews, my name's Michelle, and I hope you have a great day.